And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Spooky Mage Seekers. That's right, we're bringing it back. Uh, this deck that has been awesome whenever we have played this deck before. Now we're probably not going to go 5-0 because it's really difficult to go 5-0, but we have gone 5-0 both times that we've played this deck. So let's try it again. Uh, this deck's, you know, we want to have Remembrance on turn 3. That's going to be the big thing that we'll be talking about a lot. We want this card in our opener because uh, we don't have a whole lot of one two three mana cards to play we don't really need to play like persuader or investigator on turn two and turn three and so on um so you know like we're mostly going to be wanting to skip those turns play remembrance we have a couple early cards in case we need them but then the thing about fleet feather tracker and bright seal protector are these are like one drops and two drops that are just fine early but these are also one and two mana cards that are really good in the late game um, you know, like if we, if you have like, you know, turn six, you can still play a bright seal protector on whatever, you know, it's still good. You can still play a fleet feather tracker, then play something else. It has challenger. Um, it's still good. So like, that's, that's why these are some good quality cards to have. But yeah, the power in this deck is definitely here. You know, like we have Lux with unyielding spirit, which is awesome, but Lux just in general is really strong. Lots of good spells, uh, to help us turn on Lux. Back to backs, still a really good, um, really good spell that people don't really play around at all, and so you can get some good blowouts with that. Um, you know, Thresh is a good challenger, just a whole bunch of good stuff. And then you have Rekindler. Rekindler is really good when you're bringing back Lux because you're just spending one additional mana for a Lux and getting a four four, but also still really good bringing back Thresh as well. And the Callista Rekindler combo is pretty amazing, also. So anyway, uh, this is our deck, Spooky Mage Seekers. Pretty fun one to play. Let's go play five games over here in Master Rank like we always do. And let's have some fun. All right, so we're playing against... Uh, ooh. The Ash Sejuani deck. Definitely like Remembrance on three. So, all right, so we're going to have Remembrance on three. Um, Miss Call Back of Remembrance is pretty good. I kind of want to just keep all these. I don't know. Maybe we don't really need Callista with this hand. Um, Unyielding Spirit is just super powerful. So we're just going to keep these cards that are uh, real powerful. Ruination is not a bad one to have access to either. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't seen that. Uh, or hey, it's a knee. Knee Snapvine Elise Maokai deck. Oh, that, the new the knee that's probably meant probably meant new. So the new Snapvine Elise Maokai. No, I haven't seen that. I like Snapvine as a card. That's a fun card to play. Um, all right, that's a good one. 5-5 five, five, Great Horn Companion. This has made Remembrance better. Joke debate. I am still not convinced in the slightest that Avaros and Trapper are supposed to be in this Sejuani Ash deck. It's of course the card that everybody plays here, but I'm not I'm not convinced. I I I just don't think that this card is better than. Um, Rhymefang Wolf. I really don't. I think Rhymefang Wolf, um, having the the challenger and being able to kill huge, uh, huge things like with Ash. I just feel like that's better than putting a one mana five five in your deck. I don't know. That's just me though. That's just me. I think this looks like a good spot for Bright Steel Protector. Makes the attack pretty poor. Okay, they're attacking anyway. So it's got to be like Elixir of Iron, right? I mean, I, I, we just we just play into it, but it means Elixir of Iron. I do wish that. I, I do wish I saved enough mana to play this um, Unyielding Spear at this turn. Unyielding Spear with a Scout is pretty nice. Many tribes under one banner. Hmm. They blocked with Ash. I fight 
for the fallen. Did want to miss call. If I pass priority, they probably just don't attack anyway. So let's just, uh, let's just unyielding spirit before, like, before they just pass turn. Yeah, so Dwani Ash, yeah, this this deck's definitely really strong. The, the opponent's playing definitely really strong. Uh, you will be scoured from this land. Do I want to play Remembrance first? Nah, just attack. Line up. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Yeah, lots of cards over there. Aren't you supposed to challenge first, not last? Like while you're at 20? So I don't want to do single combat because of Frostbite spell. And I'd kind of rather have the single combat for after we... Yeah, so they're going Frostbite spell. Banish the unworthy. Over there. Um, I don't think I need to Vile Feast right now. have to be four twos. My 
They gotta be four twos. I am worried about Ash. Like if they just have if they just have a big Ash. I'm worried about that. This this does make this not zero power anymore. Um, you know, I have a final spark to kill something, but like they could definitely win here with an Ash. That's what I'm worried about. We've killed two Ashes. There's only one left in their deck, but they have drawn a million cards. And by a million, I mean barely over half. <laughs> That's not quite a million. Yeah, we we just we lost some close games with the Puffcat Plunder. That that deck's still really good. You know, we just went two and three today with it. That deck's awesome though. That's a real fun deck to play. Oh, they burned one Ash. Oh, that's true, they burned one. So we killed we killed one with a Great Horn Companion, we killed one with a Ruination, and they burned one. Boom. I forgot about them burning one. Uh with just drawing too many cards. Yes. So there's no Ash in their deck. That's good news. As far as news is concerned. So maybe think about Sejuani right now. Ah, just pulling strike. And I don't really mind the Lux dying because we have Rekindler. Well, they they could have really killing before. I guess they could have responded to remembrance. Like they could have responded to remembrance with culling. I guess. Yeah, I guess they could have. Stay back. Not exactly sure why they didn't. Yeah, you're right. If they had culling strike, yeah. Whenever I cast remembrance, instead of letting the lux level up. Huh. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it was a clutch ruination for sure. Carved from the savage cold. So why would you do that over the Raiding Guardian? Makes more sense to target the Radiant Guardian, doesn't it? It has lifesteal. Can't die. Ah. More cooling strikes. Okay. So that's why. Alright, so it's only two things dying for Remembrance. I need one more thing to die. Yeah, I don't say he because I don't I don't know if we're playing against a, a man or a woman. So I say they because just more, you know. I don't, 
I don't know who we're playing against. Uh, let's see. All right, so what am I doing? Guess we just pass. Take six, go down to ten, but then we go right back up to fifteen. Gives it a reasonable amount of life. Go in remembrance after something after things died for this radiant guardian. And there we go. We are one and O. Oh. Yeah, unyielding spirit. Yeah, I, I can understand uh, being frustrated by unyielding spirit. Definitely, it is a frustrating card to play against. And one that is a little unnecessary. So Mage Seeker Investigator can create a detain, which could be important. See, Callista Elise Hecarim. I don't know if this is, you know, with Frel Yord, that's probably a They Who Endure deck. And so if we're playing against They Who Endure, we probably want a detain to take it out. Um, so, you know, like, let's keep one. But we maybe don't need both. We could probably get rid of one of those. Topher! What's up, AG Topher? Another awesome streamer. AG Topher is really cool. If y'all aren't following AG Topher, go on over there. Hit that follow button. Real chill guy over there. Thanks for the raid. All right, so yeah, we're playing some spooky mage seekers. We just had a a, a real good long game um, beating uh, the Ash Sejuani deck when they had two Trifarian Assessors draw like 10 cards, like, like actual 10 cards. <laughs> You're just on a short one today? That's Hey, that's all good. Sometimes you gotta just have like those short streams, you know, kind of recharge and everything. Thank you. Ooh, really? Topher has amazing penmanship, pen skills. I have a pen, I'm holding a pen. I don't really have any amazing skills with said pen, but it's a pen. Oh, okay, so you can uh, flip a pen. Very well. Uh, is this attack even worth? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Nah. Not even, really even worth. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Bark beast. That's a beast. Made a bark. So we'll call it Bark Beast. Everyone's a god. Get six points of damage in. Got your back. 
me go ahead and do this like with with the uh, protector and then maybe a single combat here so that I can go thresh next turn. Um, I mean, I could I could go like the radiant guardian at the next turn also if I want to. If I if I want to not single combat right now, I could have the swiftwing lancer like challenge and then single combat have it die and then oh, it's just too much work. Let's just fight here. This thing's gonna die anyway. Like so just two for one to myself, but we were gonna be like one of those is gonna die anyway. Yeah, Noxus is probably the weakest region. If you've got to pick the weakest region, yeah, it's it's got to be Noxus. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, it's Noxus. Um. To challenge or not to challenge? That is the question. No, Noxus has not been the best region. It just it was just part of the burn deck, but besides that, it, it's never it's always been one of the weakest regions. It's always been at the bottom. It just had one. It was just half of one deck. It was definitely not the best region. Last patch. No, it's it's never been. I don't think it's ever been in the top three. Oh, we have we have the other dog is in the the little dog bed today. <laughs> A little big for the dog bed. Okay. <laughs> Covers the whole thing up, but dog cam. Okay, so they do the whole haunted relic Callista thing. That's cool. Contain the arcane. Yeah, Bilgewater is really good. Bilgewater is definitely towards the top. Region wide, so yeah, it has deep all the the card steel stuff. It's very versatile. Shadow Isles, I honestly think Shadow, for the like for the first like couple of months of open beta, Shadow Isles was the best, and now Shadow Isles is right there with Noxus. I think those are the two worst. So do I single combat fight Callista and get that out of here, or do we fight Neverglade Collector? All right, no, it's Neverglade Collector. So they'll level up Callista, but we will challenge leveled up Callista immediately. Now we'll have Thresh level up. Thresh will pull. Thresh will put Lux into play. Is there some good Shadow Isles? Y'all are. People are saying they they think Shadow Isles is good. Is there some good Shadow Isles deck that I don't know about? Oh, I guess I guess it's in the deep deck, right? So yeah, it's part of the deep deck. Still, so it's like half of the deep deck. It's kind of about it.
So this is awkward because I wanted to pull. Oh, we pulled Callista. We pulled our one Callista. I wanted to pull Lux into play and then Remembrance, but Remembrance would cost five mana after the Swiftwing Lancer dies. So that's kind of awkward. We pulled Callista anyway. So I wanted. To, so basically, I decided that I decided to wait. <clears throat> because if they did have a huge they who endure, I, f I felt like like maybe we need to have um, the Mage Seeker Investigator now. Um, but I'll just play this Radiant Guardian because we don't have to worry about a they who endure yet. You know, I, I need to have yeah, you know, I need to have this up for uh, they who endure. Okay, there's the first one. Um, I did draw a Vengeance, so I could just cast Vengeance. Control the mage to control their magic. On that thing. Hmm. Neverglade Collector. It is annoying. I will end this here. Yeah, Hecarim's good. Alright, I'll trade that for a Callista. Fine with me. So plan, single combat here, I have something die, Callista levels up, now Callista puts Radiant Guardian into play, that it, Radiant Guardian would then have lifesteal top. Spooky Mage Seekers 2 and 0, oh. 12 and 0 oh overall. All right, so let's see. So Noxus is the worst region. Shadow Isles is the second worst. This is just my opinion. Um, third would be Ionia. Fourth. Um, third worst, that is. Win misfortune. Let's mulligan all of these. Fourth worst PNZ. Fifth worst. Uh, Bilgewater. And then so second best Freljord. Best Demacia. Is Demacia the best region still? Maybe not. Maybe Demacia is not the best region anymore. gonna hurt. Ow. Alright, turn three, Remembrance. Now we get to start paying attention to the game. <laughs> Here's
Here's where the game starts for us. Alright, they, they really want to con control my blockers. <laughs> Double Fleet Feather Tracker, make this thing vulnerable. They're going to be telling me how to block. Alright, so we already got a two for one, so now they're going to try to play Misfortune and then uh, attack, challenge, have this die. Oh no, no Misfortune. Well then. Just not worth single combating. So we're gonna let it happen. This is our way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe P and Z's under Ionia. Okay, I, I, I can get behind that. Because, yeah, it's kind of Heimer and a little bit of Burn, and that's kind of about it for PNZ right now. Hmm. Alright, now, now who's the Challenger deck? Now who's the Challenger deck? Do we think they have Make It Rain? No, they have Tough. That's okay. Smelled it? A fight to cook it. A fight to cook it. Okay, so this challenges a tracker. I can go like back to back. I'm not really stopping. Not really stopping those things too much. If I go Lux Final Spark, or like not Lux Final, sorry, Lux Single Combat. want them to have any other spells. Sweet. Three no. The superior tactic is to never give up. Just don't ever give up. Our deck's running really, really well. You know, we're doing great with this Mage Seeker, or Spooky Mage Seekers. We're doing great with this deck. So far, played this deck three times, and we went 5-0, 5-0, and now 3-0. Four 0 
Oh, that's too scared. Is that the same opponent we played against just a little bit ago? Like the match before, is that just like the same deck and they gave up or I don't know. Or oh, maybe, maybe it was like a connection error. Sometimes like that happens, like where like it looks like your opponent just conceded immediately, but it's like a connection error and you don't actually change rank. Sometimes that works. Yeah, when you do the donation deck, um, just put put like the deck code or a link to the deck in there. Any kind of instructions or anything, you know, you can put all, you know, just type that all out for me. Give me as much information as you can. All right, well, we don't actually have Remembrance. That's, that's, that's the thing is we've been really lucky with having Remembrance on turn three all the time. So I wonder, I wonder how we're going to do if we don't have Remembrance. I don't want to find out. I want to just draw Remembrance. Okay, yeah. Kaba, what, what uh, modifications did you make to the Infinite Draw deck? I would probably play that... Like, um, like I'll probably wait till Meme Tier Monday to play that deck again. Sharpen the blade. I'm gonna just give myself a chance to draw Remembrance. Darn. The trap is set. Remember me. I'm through with you. Anything that good to do. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a yeah, it's a difficult deck to play for sure. That infinite draw deck, yeah, you have so much so many options. So I could just cast back to back right now, turn the Mage Seeker Persuader into a challenger. Um, you know, basically I get I can Play the back to back, kill their Averroes and Trapper. The Trappa. Um, is that really worth it though? Like, is that worth spending my six mana spell to do? It does turn on my other Mage Seekers for the rest of the game. Oh, we had Remembrance, the next card. Had remembrance next card. All right, so I think I'm going to what like if they they attack, my block save the six life, and now I can cast five mana remembrance. Yeah, no, no, you do not have to have a completed deck. No, you can just give a deck idea. Yeah, just just again, just write as much information. Yeah, just feel free to. Um, yeah, just, uh, if there's something in particular you want me to play, I can do that as well. No problem. I see you can't outrun justice. Like, is this worth attacking? Like, they, they Brittle Steel or Harsh Winds? 
all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, it means that they can't they can't just play Sejuani if they harsh winds. Okay, and, and Ashes flash freeze. Okay. So I could single combat, and then I don't get to play Lux. By single combat, I'm probably setting up Ruination later. That was difficult. I guess I would want to Ruination before I would Lux. I guess that would make sense. Okay, took out Pool Shark, added Kempunk Pickpocket. Pain is nothing. You thought about changing Eager for Veteran. Is Veteran another clutch ruination? Veteran, the the two mana card where both players draw a card. Is that veteran? Okay, yeah, I I hate that card. I just I don't think that's a very good card. So no, I I would I don't think I would not want to change that card. I like the. Um, what is it? Is it in Eager Apprentice? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like that card more as you really need all the mana possible and so that can, can help you chain and ba basically just be a free spell. No, we finally faced Burn. Burn's our worst matchup by far. Burn is the worst matchup. Um, yeah, this is a bad matchup. Uh, is Burn going to keep us from our 15-0? and 0? They have the attack token turn 1 also, which is definitely something we don't want either. Ugh, this is not good. Yuck. Alright, well. This is my worst matchup, and we don't have a good hand. A good hand being Remembrance on 3. Or one and two mana things to do. Okay, well, we got Remembrance on three. Do you need to draw, like, Radiant Guardian? The thing about keeping single combat is, is that if I would find Radiant Guardian, the Radiant Guardian plus single combat can be a uh, combo that can help us win the game. All right, there's single combat. Um, this Radiant Guardian... Like this, if it's Radiant Guardian, it's it's bad for us. We want the tough card right now. Okay, good. We got the tough card. Because this one can stay alive a lot easier. Ugh, them having the attack token turn one, turn three. Hey, Violet Hammer. No, no, no theme for today. Uh, we played... Um, I don't have very many themes, day themes. We ha I have meme tier Monday and rank up Sunday, and that's kind of that's kind of about it as far as um, that is concerned. Today we're playing two really good quality uh, decks that we've played a couple of times before to start with, and then I have two brand new donation decks that were viewer submitted decks um, afterwards. That's what we're doing today. Let's 
looks like this is going to be our first loss. Radiant Guardian? No. Never see it coming. Never see it. The thing is, they're, they're never going to do damage to me again. So it's do they have eight points of burn? I can stop. I can try to stop like Noxion Fervor with single combat. Um. Or I can play Thrash. Card. Gosh, I hate that card. That's that's such a good card. It blocks and does two damage to me. That's that's a that's just a great card. Radiant Guardian, where have you been? Try Hard Tuesday. Oh, well, that's... Alright, that happens, I guess. I kind of like Tier 1 Tuesday more than Try Hard Tuesday. I'll, like, play some Tier 1 decks. That's pretty rude. So the opponent, the opponent can kill me, and so we, they have enough damage to kill me. So we've lost this. Um. Oh, I needed Radiant Guardian. No closer. Still need Radiant Guardian. What? If they just did that the other way, I would have gone down to two instead of four, because they would have killed the Legion Gr Grenadier, which would have dealt two damage to me, and then that their thing would have survived, which did, would have dealt two damage to me. Everywhere I go, the light Could have just had me go down to two. And it could have been lethal, but we should have it anyway. So this is our worst matchup. Yeah. I know after after doing the taunting, like the wave goodbye taunt, just do the losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. But all right, so we did not go 15 and 0 with the deck. We we're 14. And oh, until we finally got matched up against Burn, and we did lose. That's a that's a really tough matchup. We need to get lucky getting a Radiant Guardian with Life Steal out there, and then hopefully single combat as well to gain that life with the Radiant Guardian. But um, <clears throat> yeah, if it, I mean that we were kind of we were we were kind of turning the corner there until that three one until that Legion Grenadier. We really were turning the corner. But, yeah, like, there's there's just not that much burn around, as you can tell. Like, we finally got paired against it after 15 games. It's not it's just not a deck you see that much of right now. And so that's why I really like where this deck is at. Um, and it's a fun, you know, it's a fun one to play. It's really strong, really good late game stuff. Ruination came in clutch a couple of times. And Yielding Spear came in clutch once. Um, these Mage Seeker Investigators creating Detains. We're pretty clutch against, you know, like that was that was really nice to have um, against they who endure, 
And it's also just a nice card to have against other unyielding spirit decks if you run into that. This is a good deck, but it is a little slow. So if you're if you play against somebody who's really aggressive and uh, has a good draw, you know, like you're you're gonna have a tough time. Just how that game played out, I I really wonder if if we if they attacked turn two, turn four instead of turn one, turn three, we may have won that. Like maybe I don't know. The the turn the attack turn one, turn three is pretty rough because you know it's turn three that i'm like doing something but you know they get to attack with all that stuff on turn three it's nice like whenever it's turn two they, like they only get the one attack step on turn two and then you get to kind of stabilize on turn three um and they don't get to attack but um anyway there we go so that's spooky mage seekers awesome deck here all right, those of y'all watching later on at YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully some of y'all have been trying this deck out yourself. Let me know how it's been going for you and everything else in life. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.